Kondak is a cold town, no matter what way you look at it. Cold has supported the community in, in one way or another since the homestead days, except for a little gap in, in between the 50s and the 70s. Coal has been a necessity. There's no trees in this area when the, the homesteaders came in. But there was coal. It seems like under nearly every hill, all you had to do was dig in a ways and you would, you would get some coal. I can always remember the smell of coal. You could taste it in your mouth, even. I don't know of anybody else that's still living that uh, worked in the underground mines around here, and there was a number of mines, but as far as I know, they're all passed on. We knew there was something coming. There was a lot of seismic activity, so it was going to be either oil or something they were looking for. And we eventually found out there would be a coal project and a, and a power plant. I remember going to these public meetings and uh, looking at the big map on the wall and realizing our farm is in that mine project. It's, it's either going to be we're going to live on the land or they're going to mine the land, so we can't both be here. And I think everybody realized that if there's a, a large strip mining project, it's going to displace a lot of farmers. This plant and the mine have kept a lot of people in this area. I'm still in Cornac because of, of the ranch. Like, um, if, it, if I wasn't tied down to the, our ranch, and that's what my passion is, I guess, I probably wouldn't be in Cornac. Our kids were able to go to school here. I doubt that with this, if this project had not happened, I don't know if, if um, how much longer Cornac or maybe even a lot of small towns around here would have survived. There's this project coming in here uh, made the big difference in whether this place remained or disappeared. Without coal, we would not be where we are today. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, they, they just take electricity for granted. Um, they don't see a lot of the stuff behind the scenes where, you know, there's guys working out here 18, 20 hours in the middle of the night, you know, trying to get the, the unit back on. We know that, you know, somewhere, somebody is, you know, relying on us to, to keep the lights. We've recognized in this community, the power plant and the mine employ probably 300 families, 300 people. And it's kept a school, it's kept a rink, and it's kept stores. And uh, so the industry has been good for the community, the jobs. We're all glad to turn on our thermostat and plug in our vehicles and use the power. And we've worked out equitable ways to deal with the, with the disruption that it causes with farming and, and we're all here. If we were to lose our coal industry, I don't know what would happen to the town. I really don't. It would... It's tough to think about. I'm not sure that everybody uh, has totally allowed that to sink in and, and taken the realization of where will I be 15, 20 years from now. Coal has been all about making a living. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. It was uh, making a living for my dad. Um, uh, and it's been how we have made our life. Yeah, all of it has revolved around my husband working at a coal mine. Coal is still the cheapest and the most stable source of electrical power that there is. And nobody seems to want to do anything about it except call coal black and get rid of it.